Hey, everybody. We are live at the Pace Studio in New York right now with Loose Buttons. Again with Loose Buttons. Guys, welcome back. It's good to see you again. Thank you. Yeah, uh, congratulations to you are very much in order because something better comes out now. It's out now. It's it out. just came out. It's out. It's yeah, out. like this minute. It just came out. Uh, you're doing a big old party for that at the dance in NoHo here in the city tonight. Yeah. There's an after party at New Blue Classic yes. afterwards. So yes. a lot to celebrate. Thank you guys for doing this on release Thank you, day. Man. Thanks for having us. Yeah, and so we'll hear three songs from it right yeah. now, right? What's coming up first? Uh, we're going to do You Always Look So Cool, inspired by you. Outstanding. <laughs>
Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. That sounds great, man. Thank you. Uh, hopefully, this is like a, a, a bit of a warm up for the show tonight. Um, it is. It's definitely a warm up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're out with uh, with stolen jars tonight. Also, these yeah. guys have done done one of these as well. Um, that if you are just joining us, that's at the dance here in New York City in NoHo and the after parties at New Blue, yeah. uh, New Blue Classic. And um, so let's talk about the creation process of this album. I know it was uh, was recorded in Brooklyn. Gus Oberg producing. Can we talk yes. about what what he brought to the table and what made Spaceman seem like the, why, why was that the right fit for this project? So Spaceman was definitely the right fit because it's just such a wide open room. So we were able to like record by, by looking at each other. So a lot of that was you know track live. And we really wanted that vibe. And Gus was also in the same room, kind of curating the, the experience in many ways. So it was really nice to have that whole open area and that the drums in the same room as the guitar amps. And a skylight. And the sky, yes, thank so you. you could see see the world. <laughs> yeah, not, yeah, 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 yeah. Not go crazy just, you know, being confined to one space. Exactly. Vocal mic. Oh, hey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> skylight was the vibe. It has a skylight. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, did you not pick that up? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> oh, it has a skylight, so you can see the world outside. You're not confined to this one space, like you're in prison. It, it, you were able to, I don't know, have a sense of freedom out there. Nice, nice. Yeah, dude, I read something that Peter Gabriel said about his his studio space where it was like the ceilings had to be at least 14 or 16. or I mean, The ceilings had to be gigantic because he always felt as though he needed vertical space for his thoughts to expand upwards. And I would imagine that the, the skylight at Space yeah, Man probably that. Uh, serves that same function. 100%. For us, we wrote the record in a storage unit. Yes. So we had no light. It's a very, <laughs> I guess in that, in that case, it's a dark record. Uh, that we were writing. So it was nice to go into space actually with light. Um, kind of changed the... The songs got brighter from that. A little summery, shimmery. Well, welcome back to this dark-ass tape room. So it's kind of come full <laughs> circle from creation to recording to here we are right now. Um, yeah. Hearing three songs off of Something Better on release day. Congratulations Thank again. You. I'm going to say that like five times more. Please. Congratulations on it. Um, uh, the album's out in the world, and we're going to hear two more songs from it. Yeah. What's happening yeah. next today? Uh, we're doing Something Better right now? Yeah. The title track. All right. <clears throat> no one I'm expected to say.
Thanks, yeah. guys. Um, this, I, I think, I mean, it was long enough ago. I definitely didn't interview you guys the first time this happened. This was like no. three years ago. It was like 2016 or 2017. Yeah. It was definitely not in this room. It was in, no, the, no, in no. the old old room. By the way, love what you did with the place. Thank you. Thank <laughs> really you very much. Beautiful. And so that being a preface to this thing, I mean, these tapes here are rock and roll and jazz and country music history going all the way back to 1952. I mean, the oldest tape in here is there's Ella Fitzgerald from wow. uh, from 53 at Storyville. Uh, we're in a, yeah, dude, that's Cat Cunning's not a tarot card. She calls it a prayer card, I think. Yeah, she did a session here a couple couple months ago and, and left candles and... Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> trading cards. Yeah. And these, so, so since we're in this uh, music museum church sort of mm-hmm. uh, library of sorts, it tends to be a very, very easy place to talk about musical influences. Can you talk about some of the artists who've been either important to you throughout life in general or more specifically during the writing process of, of something better? For sure. I mean, I think that we... I also realize how huge of a question that is. If you want to just talk about like chefs and race car drivers, like any inspiration beyond music is uh, fine too. uh, No, I mean, I think being a New York band, it's impossible to not be inspired by like Velvet Underground. uh, And then, then what the Strokes did by, you know, taking that sound and making it their own. And then for us trying to do what the Strokes did, but make it our own you know, kind of these different generations of New York. I think we're just fundamentally making New York music, you know? Um, So, but yeah, I mean, there's so many different influences that we've had that we were putting on in the studio. There's this band, Send. Oh, Send. Great New York uh, band. Another great New York band. Like two two EPs or one EP and then one record. um, And then they disbanded. Um, But I think that actually had a big effect on all four of us. This is a good call. A couple years ago. Um, yeah. So yeah, there was a good that. energy on that record that we were kind of just trying to replicate in many ways. Um, yeah. Next time we come back, I'll have a better answer for you. Dude, that's a great answer. I mean, part of the reason why I asked that is because I want to know about new artists to listen to. I don't know anything about the band Send, but now... C-E-N-D-E. It's not how it sounds. Outstanding. But. Thank <laughs> yes. you for that. Yes, I will be Googling it immediately afterwards, and I'll yeah. check them out. So I'm glad that I asked that question. Thank you, guys. It was a perfect response. Hey, look at that. Yeah. Wow. Well done, boys. Well done. <laughs> um, so we are only two-thirds of the way through. There's still one more song coming up off of Something Better. What's happening yeah. last today? Yes, this one's uh, called Six. 17. Like so, the time. Like the time. Not the area code. Yeah. <laughs> AM, not PM. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's important.
my voice around jealousy Calibrated thoughts in your mailbox Fucked my legacy Dude, I thought we were looking at a didgeridoo this entire time. Now I know that that is not the case. It was a rain stick, wonderful addition <laughs> at the end Thank there. You. Yeah. Again, this was my Rafiki moment. That was, that was, that was the world <laughs> right. premiere of that. It never rehearsed. <laughs> well, dude, it sounded great, man. Thank you guys for coming Thank here you. and si- doing three songs off of something better. Um, and have a great uh, uh, release show party. That's happening at the dance in NoHo tonight. Yep. There's an after party at New Blue Classic, which I will certainly see you at. This Perfect. feels like... Uh, a, a, the makings of an epic party evening tonight. So let's go be. forth and make some questionable decisions. And, um, <laughs> dude, all of the, all the info is, is the band camp the best place that people can find your, your info? Probably that or Instagram. Yeah. Uh, loosen up your buttons. 
check us out there. Yeah. Nice. Well, dude, congratulations very much on this on this release. It's out in the world. Something better is out today, and have a great, great show tonight. Thank you guys for Thanks doing this. Right.